Welcome to the QuickBooks University video training tutorials. My name is Matt Holquist. I'm a CPA in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, I run the, a website at the QuickBooks University, which is qbuniversity.org, where we have 37 in-depth training videos uh, available uh, for you to learn QuickBooks, literally every aspect of QuickBooks. So uh, go check it out. But what I want to talk about in this video is how to enter bills correctly in QuickBooks uh, because a lot of people do this wrong and what they do is they just keep a file folder and they put all their bills in there and then they just go through the file folder every couple days and see what's due and what's coming up and and uh, then they pay the bills that way. But that that is uh, uh, wrong in two ways. Uh, one, you know, you're going to miss some bills if you're just putting them in a in a file folder and paying them, okay? It's just nature of the beast as your business grows, it's going to get more and more out of control. And two, uh you're you're understating your expenses and your liabilities in your financial records within QuickBooks. And that means that you know, the, the date of that bill generally under the accrual basis is when that becomes an expense. And so when you enter your bill as of the date, the date of the bill, not the date you pay it, but the date you get it, it'll say on the bill, date, date prepared or uh, date as of on the bill, you know, that's the date that you incurred that expense, not when you actually pay the bill. Okay, so this is especially important at the end of the year if you have bills dated before the end of the year, but you pay them the following year. All right, so very, very important to put them in there. And the, and the other thing in QuickBooks is when you enter your bills, you know, you when you go to vendors and pay bills, you know, it's going to show you what's due. Okay, these these are due on these dates, so you need to go in and make sure you pay these. Okay, so it's going to help you not have to go through that file folder every couple days. All right, so to enter a bill, there's a couple ways to get to it. Uh, we're on the home screen here, and you can see there's a button, Enter Bills. Pretty easy. Okay, uh, or you can just go to the Vendors drop-down menu and hit enter bills okay or you can also set up a shortcut button up here and here's one right here they've got it you can just click that all right these are just extras because it's too long to fit them all on here so we'll just click on the enter bills okay and it brings up the bill form and so let's let's pick a vendor here we'll say that we owe uh, Daigle Lighting Okay, open purchase orders exist. No, we don't want to receive against a purchase order. Okay, Dago Lighting. So you put in the date, okay, 1215 for this sample file. It's, uh, the dates are set back in 07, so we'll just leave it at 07. Now the reference number is going to be your invoice number, okay? And it's important to put that in. Let's say it's 345678. It's important to put that in because QuickBooks, if you put it in consistently, will tell you if you've put in a duplicate bill. Okay, so if you type it in and you've already done it before, QuickBooks will alert you and say, hey, you've already put this in. Uh, you know, are, are you sure you want to put it in again? And so that way you make sure you don't pay it twice. Okay, so let's say this is $522. The bill is due 123007. Now this date defaults based on the terms we have set up. Let's say that we have actually net 30. It's going to change it to 114. All right. And you can add your own terms. Pretty easy to do. All right. And then the account already defaulted up here to cost of goods sold because it, it knows that it's had that in there before. Let's say that it's not cost of goods sold. Let's say that uh, we actually, these are just uh, we bought a bunch of light bulbs for the office, let's say. Uh, so let's say that, we, let's see if we can find an account in here that, and we'll call it office supplies since it's kind of kind of a supply. I mean, it's not necessarily 522. We're not putting it to a customer. 
and we're not putting it to a class right now. Okay, so you hit save and new if you have another bill or save and close. And it says you've changed the terms for Daco Lighting. Would you like to have the new information appear next time? Yes, we would. And we didn't do a class, but that's okay. All right. So now when we go to vendors pay bills, you'll see here a button. Uh, let's see if we go down. There's Daco Lighting at 550. We did 522. It should be down here because the due date's a little bit later. And there it is. Okay, so pretty easy to enter bills. You just want to make sure that you actually enter them because a lot of people, again, don't do it. And uh, it makes life so much easier if you're tracking everything through QuickBooks than having to double check a folder or a stack of bills to see which ones are coming due. All right, so for, th for the full video training covering literally every aspect of QuickBooks uh, plus a members forum where you can personally ask me questions and I personally answer them, uh, go to qbuniversity.org and that's the QuickBooks University. I look forward to seeing you over there.